Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 15th day of February, 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to JM Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. So let me go ahead and refresh. Gold is down 1611 to 1862.27. Silver is down 42 cents to 23.54. Now it looks like Platinum is also down $5.36 to 1036.66, and Palladium is down $59.71 to 23.28.75. The in stock silver is at 739 pieces. Now, our next stop today is the United States Mint, and they have been busy on their product schedule. So, check this out. Now, we just had this drop just about a week ago now, the Maya Angelou quarters, and we are finding some errors uh, on the in the P rolls. So, and I'll show you where those are in the next video I do here today. Now, look at this. Um, wanted to show you the United States Mint has added pictures for three different products first one being the Rhode Island American Innovation coin there it is it looks really beautiful up there I really like that now the next item is that platinum proof coin uh, featuring the freedom of speech now would you look at this this is the one I'm going to be showcasing for this particular video this is the United States Navy's two and a half ounce silver medal and it is a beauty we go here bam there it is um, don't give up the ship is what it says there um, and I mean look at that that's just gorgeous that is just gorgeous um, just cutting through the water right there. Look at on the bow there with all that whitewash. Where's the dolphins? Oh, it's amazing. Look at that United States Navy. Bam. Look at all that. That's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. I can't even get over it. Look at that. Very cool. Looks like they could be at like parade rest because they're not at attention, unless that's how they show attention in the Navy. But that looks like it could be parade rest. It says honor, courage, and commitment. That is just beautiful. Look at that. I just, man, that's a really gorgeous metal. really is. And uh, if you haven't been into this program and you're only getting in just now, that's okay. Um, there's only been two issues so far. It is the American, um, well, it's the United States Coast Guard and the um, United States Air Force. So those are both on uh, eBay right now. And they're only about $50 or so more than the issue price if you're going to buy it raw. Now, if you buy it graded in a 70, you're probably going to pay a little bit over double this, probably about three twenty. Um, and this is gorgeous, and it does come in some beautiful packaging. Let's face it, uh, the mint has been, um, uh, you know, I guess I don't want to be, you know, rough around the edges, but you know, the quality of the packaging for the American Silver Eagles and the American Gold Eagles was not up to this particular um, packaging standards here. So if they could get back to that, that would be amazing. But this package is heavy duty. Uh, you could probably fit two of those metals into this um, this clamshell. It is very beautiful. And look how you're able to display it there. Um, but really, I think if you were able to get all of these coins, it would look really beautiful in like a um, like a stained metal or a stained wooden uh, display. It would be really cool for all six coins because there's going to be the Space Force added to this. So this is going to be a really cool metal program that's going to be lasting for the next couple years, uh, about two a year. I think the next one to come out will be the United States Marine Corps. And that'll be cool. And I think next year is the United States Army and then the Space Force. And that would be all six. So that'd be really cool. Now let's go here. And I um, wanted to show you the price for the Air Force Medal and compare it to this year's because it's really kind of cool that it hasn't gone up in price because a lot of things are going up in price. And that um, the fact that the United States Mint has kept this the same price, you know, we got to thank them for that. Now, um, the mintage limits for the Air Force Medal was 10,000. Product limit was 10,000. The household order limit was none. Um, I'm not sure. I got to check on that. I'll double check that one um, because let's go back to this one. Mintage limit 10,000. Product limit 10,000. Household order limit one. And um, I really was kind of suspecting um, from what the Mint had said earlier on in the year that there was a two and a half ounce silver planchet shortage, but it looks like they procured enough of them to make this particular piece. So kudos to you, the United States Mint, for um, obtaining uh, the necessary planchets to make this because this is a stunning, stunning uh, metal. I love the design on that. It is just rich. And it's rich with history, too, because look at that. The ship in the background, I believe that to be old Ironsides, the USS Constitution, that three-mast uh, rigging there. Um, and if it is, you know, that would be pretty cool because it is the oldest uh, floating ship in the world. And I think that's a really cool testimony to the United States Navy's um, power prowess uh, and the ability to, you know, uh, maintain, right? Because let's, let's face it, maintenance is not easy. 
especially if, um, you know, something's from, what, 1797 at George Washington, you know, the beginning of our country. Um, how do you get parts and pieces for that, you know? So I think there it is, folks. I, I don't really have a plus one here today, but I did want to show you the eBay prices for that American or the United States Air Force uh, medal. Uh, MS-70, 335. Uh, like I said, it's just over double. Uh, if you get it raw, you're paying about $50 over uh, the issue price of 160 So there's 300 261 and that's an MS-70, 200 And these are the, um, I believe, they ended recently. So February 12, February 6, January, January, um, and so on and so forth. So not too expensive in the raw if you're still getting that. I mean, look at that one, January 18th, 163 So about $10, $13 over list price. So they may be lost money on that considering uh, eBay takes their fees and they have to ship it, right? So... Um, very interesting, uh, but if it is graded, uh, it does see a decent amount, but really, I don't think these are for flipping. I think these are for people who were in the military or who have family members who are in the military, the Navy, the Air Force, or, uh, what have you. Um, just gorgeous, just, just gorgeous. And here we go to the USS Constitution. This is why it makes me think that it is the Constitution. Excuse me. Uh, there it is right there. And just to back it up a little bit. Uh, USS Constitution, uh, also known as Old Ironsides, is a three-masted, wooden-hauled, heavy frigate of the United States Navy. She is the world's oldest ship of any type still afloat. She was launched in 1797, one of six original frigates authorized for construction by the Naval Act of 1794 and the third constructed. There it is. Bam. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? It's uh, still floating, still there. And I think that is a testimony to the power of this country. So thank you folks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker.